When most people hear Big Bang, they picture a colossal explosion erupting from a single point in space, a fiery event akin to a cosmic firework. But this image, while visually compelling, is a misconception that precision cosmology has worked hard to correct. The reality, as revealed by decades of meticulous observation and theoretical refinement, paints a far more nuanced and fascinating picture. The seeds of this correction were sown in 1965, when Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, while working on microwave radio astronomy, stumbled upon a persistent, uniform background noise. This wasn't just any noise, it was the echo of the Big Bang itself, the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. They discovered a uniform 2.725 Kelvin glow, a faint but pervasive radiation, filling the sky in every direction. This discovery earned them the Nobel Prize and revolutionized our understanding of the universe's origins. The CMB isn't perfectly uniform. It possesses minuscule temperature variations. These measured temperature variations are incredibly small, just one part in 100,000. These subtle fluctuations are crucial because they represent the seeds of all the structure we see in the universe today, galaxies, stars, and planets. The near-perfect uniformity of the CMB, however, proves that at its origin, the universe wasn't a localized explosion, but rather an ultra-dense, featureless plasma extending everywhere in space simultaneously. Imagine an infinitely hot, incredibly dense soup of particles filling all of existence. Therefore, there was no outside into which anything exploded. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion space, but rather the birth of space itself. Space itself emerged from that hot, dense state everywhere at once, expanding and cooling as it did so. It's a subtle but profound distinction. Think of it like the surface of an expanding balloon. There's no single point of origin on the surface itself, and every point is moving away from every other point. To further investigate these subtle temperature variations and refine our understanding of the early universe, a series of sophisticated satellite missions were launched. COBE, WMAP, and Planck mapped those tiny temperature ripples across the sky with ever-increasing precision, confirming two fundamental facts about the cosmos. These missions provided invaluable data that has shaped our modern cosmological model. These facts are isotropy. The universe looks the same in all directions no matter where you observe it from, and homogeneity. It has the same statistical properties at every location on a large scale. This means that the universe, on a grand scale, is remarkably uniform. There's no privileged center, no special place in the cosmos. These findings mean there is no special vantage point or cosmic center. Every region of space shares the same origin story. The Big Bang happened everywhere, and it's still happening. Wherever you stand today, you're at the heart of your own Big Bang, carried along by the ongoing expansion of the universe. You are not simply an observer, but an integral part of this grand cosmic drama. The mathematical framework that describes the expansion of the universe is rooted in the friedman lemaitre robertson walker metric, often abbreviated as FLRW. This metric provides a way to measure distances and time intervals in an expanding universe. At the heart of this model is a crucial element, AT, the scale factor. This factor is not static. It evolves with time, growing as the universe expands. It essentially dictates how much the universe has stretched at any given moment since the Big Bang. As the scale factor, AT, increases, it signifies that the fabric of space itself is stretching. Consequently, every pair of points in space, whether they represent galaxies or any other cosmic objects, moves apart. The rate at which they recede from each other is directly proportional to the distance separating them. It's important to note that this expansion doesn't occur within a pre-existing larger space. There's no external backdrop against which this expansion can be observed. Space itself is stretching uniformly in all directions. To grasp this concept more intuitively, a simple analogy often proves helpful. Imagine the universe not as an empty void, but as the two-dimensional surface of a balloon. Now, picture tiny dots meticulously painted onto this balloon's surface. These dots will represent galaxies scattered throughout the cosmos. As we inflate the balloon, observe what happens to the dots. They all begin to recede from each other, increasing the distance between every pair. Crucially, there's no single dot that can be identified as the origin or center of this expansion. The balloon's surface is finite yet unbounded, possessing no central point. The expansion is intrinsic to the surface itself, not driven by an external force or point of origin. 
our three-dimensional universe, with all its complexities and vastness, behaves in a remarkably similar manner. Space itself is analogous to the balloon's surface, constantly expanding, and the galaxies, those colossal islands of stars, serve as the dots scattered across this cosmic balloon. Just as the dots on the balloon recede from each other, so too do galaxies move apart as the universe expands, driven by the inherent stretching of space itself. Let's journey back to the very beginning, to the Planck era, a mere 1043 seconds after the theoretical birth of everything. This is the earliest moment in time that our current understanding of physics allows us to probe. Imagine a cosmos compressed to unimaginable density, where temperatures soared to an unfathomable one. 401N32 Kelvin. To put that into perspective, that's trillions upon trillions of times hotter than the core of our sun. At these extreme energies, the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces were likely unified into a single dominant force. Quantum gravitational effects reigned supreme, bending space-time in ways we can only begin to conceptualize. Our familiar laws of physics, the ones that govern our everyday experiences, simply break down under these conditions. Crucially, this Planckian state wasn't confined to a single, infinitesimally small point. Instead, it permeated the entirety of the nascent cosmos. Think of it as a uniform, superheated plasma filling all of existence. Every single region of today's observable universe, from the farthest reaches of intergalactic space to the very spot you're sitting in right now, experience those same extreme conditions simultaneously. This is a key concept to grasp. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion space, but rather the expansion space itself. The universe didn't expand anything, it created its own space as it grew. Within this incredibly dense and energetic plasma, quantum fluctuations were constantly bubbling up and disappearing. These were tiny, random variations in density, on the order of just 10 to 5. While seemingly insignificant, these primordial fluctuations held the seeds of everything we see around us today. Then came cosmic inflation, a period of exponential expansion that stretched these microscopic quantum fluctuations to macroscopic scales in a fraction of a second. Imagine taking a tiny ripple on a pond and instantly expanding it to the size of an ocean wave. These stretched fluctuations became the density variations that would eventually give rise to galaxies, clusters of galaxies, and the vast cosmic web. After inflation ended, the universe entered a phase known as reheating. The energy that had driven the rapid expansion was converted into a hot, dense particle soup. This soup contained all the fundamental particles that would later combine to form atoms, stars, and galaxies. Quarks and leptons, bosons and fermions, all interacting in a chaotic dance of creation. As the universe continued to expand and cool, these particles began to combine, forming protons and neutrons which then fused to create the first light elements, hydrogen and helium. This early universe was a crucible, forging the building blocks of everything we see around us. Today, observations of the large-scale structure of the universe reveal a vast cosmic web, a network of galaxies and voids stretching across billions of light years. And what's truly remarkable is that these structures exhibit the same statistical patterns everywhere we look. This uniformity reinforces the idea that the universe's origin was an all-encompassing event, not a localized blast in some pre-existing space. The patterns we observe today are echoes of those primordial quantum fluctuations, stretched and amplified by inflation and shaped by the relentless pull of gravity. Even now, billions of years after the Big Bang, the universe continues to evolve. Today's accelerating expansion, driven by the mysterious force we call dark energy, is pushing galaxies apart at an ever-increasing rate. And just like the Big Bang itself, this acceleration has no center. Dark energy permeates all of space equally, exerting its influence on every galaxy, every star, every atom. It's a fundamental property of the universe, and its nature remains one of the biggest mysteries in modern cosmology. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space, but rather the simultaneous emergence of space and time everywhere. It wasn't something that happened over there, far away in some distant corner of the cosmos. It happened, and continues to happen, all around us. There is no where to travel to in order to reach the Big Bang. Every point in our universe was part of that initial state. Every atom in your body, every star in the sky, was once compressed into that incredibly hot, dense plasma. We are, in a very real sense, children of the Big Bang. You are at the center of your own observable universe simply by existing. 
The light from the most distant galaxies has been traveling for billions of years to reach your eyes, and you are the point where those light rays converge. For further data-driven explorations of cosmology, subscribe to our channel and share your questions in the comments below. We're always eager to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe with you.